So this is titanium buff and burnt umber. And with the windows, um, I'm not really going to uh, do a lot of detail, okay? This is, this is kind of inside of that. It's part of the wall still, what I'm doing right now. Okay, uh, it is, I'll show you in a minute. Did you make gum? I did. Okay. So there's one in the kitchen cupboard, like the cupboard, and there's one on the ledge. So there's two. Just a bit of uh, just just a bit of Naples yellow right now, just because um, trying to push the window in a bit. Now I'm going to take brown. In the original. Um, In the original uh, um, um, reference, the brown is right next, right on the wall, the frame. So you can see the side of the wall, the window I'm working on right now. You can see there's a, a brown frame and then there's a white one around it. Sorry, where are you putting the Naples yellow, Leo? Well, I just put the Naples yellow on the side here. You don't really have to put it if you're, I'm just softening. I tried to soften the wall in right here, here, this, between the wall and that frame. This is where I put it. Oh. But really what I would do I just didn't want the, the frame to be right on the wall. I just, right, right kind of where the wall is. So, is that what you're using now, the Naples yellow, or is that white? No, no, right now I'm using uh, titanium buff and burnt umber. All I'm trying to say is that you want to do it like this, like a, like a, 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 a kind of a soft sketch. So that's the outside, not the inner frame. I'm confused, but that's okay. Hold on, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'm going to take Naples yellow. and titanium buff. And just on this wall here. Now that's the inside? That's, that's the inside, the yes, that's the inside. Ah, okay. That's the inside. And the bottom part right here. And then on the outside, it's the burnt dumper and the titanium. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh. Wait, uh, I'm going to wait for it to dry a bit, and then I'm going to increase the amount of uh, titanium buff in certain areas, not everywhere. I'm going to be doing it again with the other window, so I'm going to just 
kind of, this is a big one. This is kind of a big window. There's a glare on it. Okay, that's better. Do it as simple as possible. Thank you. Oh, yeah, for that little window, did you do like a little uh, blind inside? Is that, oh, you did. Is that yeah. like a little blind? Blind, or... yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. And this is white layout or still the? No, no, this is still like uh, titanium buff. Okay. Oh my God, today the, 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 um, the light. The light is really bad. Today. I don't know why. some curtains maybe in here just to soften this because it's really dark. I, I personally don't like dark windows. 
Um, I like to put some some uh, color in there. This is cerulean blue and a bit of uh, uh, a bit of um, titanium buff. Those windows, the, the bottom ones, are exactly where the laundry is. So um, I really want to push them back if possible. Yeah. And again, just the bottom of that window, I'm just going to darken it a bit, glaze it with a bit of uh, burnt umber in here. Those windows are weird. Brown, burnt umber, and now I'm using burnt umber and um, titanium buff for this window here. And I'm just gonna put a bit of line right there. I'm not really doing exactly what's in there because I find them really dark. I'm just gonna put a suggestion of it. And on this one, the big one on the side, I'm gonna use Naples yellow and titanium buff and bring that wall in. And down here. Titanium buff and actually Naples yellow, a bit of burnt umber and titanium buff. Good, okay. Ah, oh, for this one, there's a curtain in there. No, that's okay. That's good. So I'm just going to mix my Naples yellow and my cerulean blue just to make a create a, a bluish green. And I'm just going to put 
But it hurts me. Mm -hmm. Okay, now darken it a bit with burnt umber. That's just looking a bit too light. Sorry, Leon. You said that was uh, Naples, Naples yellow, and for, for this green I'm putting right now for the curtain. Yeah. Yes, that's Naples yellow and cerulean blue. Okay. And actually, put a bit of uh, put a bit of uh, burnt umber in it. That's just a touch to darken it. Okay. And then I'm 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 going to highlight a bit now. So don't take it all the way up uh, to the because the top of the window here, the top of the curtain, looks a bit darker. The window looks darker here. I mean, we can glaze it after. It doesn't matter. This is a touch of ivory black in here. Burnt umber is not doing the job of pushing no. the uh, curtain, like the giving me shadows, shade shadow in here. It's not, it's just too light. It goes, goes to kind of pink. Yeah. So I'm just using a bit of uh, um, ivory black or black just to give it a bit of um, depth. Now I'm going to go back to my Burnt Umber and Titanium Buff and highlight the frame of the window. And highlight the frame right here too. And at the bottom right there. I'm going to use the same same thing. I'm going to take my ivory black and some of the blue. Just a bit of blue and ivory black again. Right here. And push this in. This, this, this is like too close, too, too floating, too... Just push it in. Is that just ivory black? Ivory black and uh, paints um, uh, cerulean blue for this, for what I'm doing here. It just gives it depth, it's much better. Okay, now. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm just saying with this one here. Just ivory black. And down here, just kind of a, a bit of ivory black, but really kind of, uh, more like a glaze. Lorna, how is the weather in Florida? Well, I thought I was going to have a productive day today. It was super gray and kind of rainy. So I started to clean my closet. And then the sun came out at like 1.30. <laughs> and you thought, oh, forget about the closet now. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the pool. Back to the pool. I went back to the pool. Good. And then I came home and there was a very big mess on my bed. <laughs> There's a big mess? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, because you left it. Yeah. All right. Well, it was worth it, right? Yeah. So that'll have to be the next rainy days project to finish that off. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think will be Friday. Oh. Well, I'm not going to tell you what we're expecting here, but... Mm -hmm. I, yeah, you guys are getting like super bad weather, but I guess we get a little bit of it too. Like it was cool this morning. I went for a walk and I, I wore a jacket this morning. Um, I know it's not like what you guys have, but it's been, but it's still super humid. Mm. Humid. So not, not That's great for doing stuff, but. It's okay if you're sitting by the pool or you go to the beach. That's the only thing I cannot take, humidity. Yeah, you would not like it here. No. And I think it was a long weekend for everyone here too. So there's lots of kids around. There's a lot of what? Kids, like a lot of grandchildren. Oh, okay. You really notice when they're here because normally there aren't kids. You mean hmm. Canadian kids? No, uh, they're American. There aren't that many Canadians down here. There's only, I think like 
three at my pool. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of other ones elsewhere, but. Well, there's no crossing borders right now, right? Well, I went home on Monday. Who? My husband. Oh. Hopefully he's coming back to get me, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he drove? Uh, well, he flew to Buffalo and then he drove across the border. Oh, okay. Does he have to quarantine? Yeah, he's going to quarantine for two weeks and then he'll go to work for two weeks and then hopefully he'll come back. <laughs> So for this awning, I'm using um, a bit of um, white and titanium buff. And um, I'm going to choose a color and, and put it, put a... Layola, are you getting paid by the hour here? Why am I going too fast? For me, uh, a little. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop. Sorry, I. This is sap green. Um, I put a bit of. I have here a touch of yellow ochre in here, or if you have any yellow. Okay, now I'm going to put some real yellow, any cadmium yellow light or cadmium yellow medium with my green to highlight it. Okay, that's good. There. Yeah. So with the uh, with the the clothes on the line, I'm just gonna grab some of the colors I have here and just go down with this for the first layer. Add some blue. This is a, an easy one. You could put any colors you like.
uh, tone it down a bit. Just if, if I'm using, I'm using white with a bit of green for, you know, the, for here. So I'm gonna tone it down a bit with uh, black. I still don't understand this uh, this clothing thing, the line. How is it over the? Because it goes, it's tied into the little rooftop where you're at now. It looks like it's going right over. Yeah. Well, I have to do the same because. But it I... looks weird. Yeah, it looks weird. I'd rather have it kind of like on the bottom part. Um, I, I added a pulley. Oh, you did? Window. Wow. Oh. Because otherwise, how are they going to get it in the window? No, but oh. there could be a window underneath it, right? Oh, true. Um, true. Yeah. But still, how are you going to bring it in? Is it if it's up? not on a pulley of some sort? True. So it's going to have a double line, right? I'm not I don't know. That's that how way. I see it. But well, there is there is two lines. There's a line above. Yeah, and I think there's like a pulley somewhere. Joys of painting. And we have to put the uh, actual line, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. What? Oh, it's funny those the lines. The, Right, so now we need the line. This is gonna be tough. Okay. I'm gonna use black <clears throat> and like a dark gray and water it down and use a very thin round brush. can turn the picture around too. So I can... On the side, so that you can uh, add it. That's what I did with the line. It's easier. Absolutely. <laughs> Is that the, uh, that's the clothesline, right? Yeah, yes. But if the clothes are over the, over the line... Oh my God, now we're technical. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this is like the whole. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Are you gonna do that? 
<laughs> well, I'm putting each one nicely hung with their with their cover. Yeah, I want it, and then and then you're gonna, you know, what? Uh... I drew little hearts on the pajamas. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm kidding. No, some of them they do need to be over the line. You're right. You are being technical, but you're right. Mm. You've got too many technical people around, huh? It's good. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself, too. Huh? <laughs> That's good. We got to have clothes pins. Yeah. I managed to do that a bit, but. Um... They're open to remote. Color? Did you do them white? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do that too. Yeah. Did mine brown? Oh well. Copy my teacher. So today, one of the ladies in the class was talking about, she lives in Oakville. Who lives in Oakville? In here, in, Lori. In, Lori? I, yeah. I do, I live in Glen Abbey, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I live in Oakville. Yeah. Oh, you look at, yes, yes, anyway, but you're not in Oakville, you're in Florida right now. Yeah. So it doesn't apply to you right now because you're not on the uh, neighbor's watch. You know, like neighborhood watch. Oh, the next door app. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Right. So anyway, um, uh, she was saying that her neighbor, uh, someone broke into their home and stole some some stuff. So, and the police is looking for a black uh, ram, black uh, um, uh, truck. truck. Ram, uh, Ram, Dodge Ram or something? Dodge Ram? Yes. So um, I said, oh, oh, okay, wait. Two weeks ago, there was a guy standing in front of our house or here in the on the street, walking, uh, driving slowly. And our neighbor across the road was walking with his wife um, in the afternoon and they saw him uh, driving slowly and looking at homes and it's a black uh, truck ram dodge ram um, so he took our neighbor took the um, license, license plate. plate a picture of the license plate and he posted it on the on facebook uh, on our uh, facebook the neighborhood like our na neighborhood 
Facebook saying, beware, this is what we saw. And this guy is driving slow. He was driving slowly uh, on our street and on Portway, the street next to us. And I have it. I have the, I went back and I sent her the picture with the license plate. So she got in touch with the police in Oakville. And I don't know what's happening. Be good to find out if they got the person. Yes. See, we're not only painting, we're solving crime too. It's neighborhood <laughs> walk. <laughs> we're, we're very busy. <laughs> Do you think, no, no, this is just, we're undercover. <laughs> this is, we pretend we're painting, but we're actually catching thieves. So That's there's it. lights in your studio. They're actually for spotting people. <laughs> <laughs> for interrogating people when they... Oh, oh, I know what happened. Um, so this lady called me after the class and she said, could you, I, I spoke to the police and the police wants to talk to the person who took the picture. So I said, oh, okay, that's my next door neighbor. I'll, I'll, I'll call him and ask him to call the police. She gave us, she gave me the phone number because that's what they said. They said, just have him call us. We want to talk to him. He calls them. At that same number, someone answers the police, at the police station. They say, they say to him, uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Crazy. That's not good. No. No. Somebody must have gone on coffee break. Oh, oh, the person, yes. But you know what? They have so many other things to concern themselves with. I know. They're not, they don't respond very much to uh, break an entry. I mean, you, you went through it before, right? Uh, yeah, no, no. It's the, even when they come, nah, there's not much they can do. How can there be so much crime? Everyone's supposed to be at home. Mm -hmm. Well, there isn't as much right now. That's the good thing, because everybody is at home. But I mean, well, all you have to do is go for a walk. It doesn't take them long if they're scouting your house. But I think what they're doing is they're also going around. There's a guy in uh, on our neighbor thing, that next neighbor, whatever it's called. Um, and there's he's stealing all the uh, Amazon, all the packages. That oh, are coming. God one of those yeah and they caught like he's he wears he's wearing a safety um vest and you know they have pictures of him but from now on the who comes to your house is waiting to see you to yeah. pick up the the, the yes mm -hmm. they don't leave they don't leave if uh, yeah if they see you to pick up the parcel yeah but usually delivery, they tell you, they tell you, you know, they tell you we're coming now, like we're coming in at six. We're coming now. They knock the door and they're waiting to open. But sometimes oh, they, don't, they don't wait. They don't even huh? wait. They don't ring the doorbell. They don't do anything. No, they don't wait.